When I first saw it, Helldivers 2 was a game that I did not really pay attention to. I work at GameStop and was constantly hearing the advertisement go off every 5 minutes or so. After my friend told me that I needed to check it out, the idea of the game hooked me. A massive galactic battle set in a distant future where Earth became one and needed to spread managed democracy and justice across the galaxy. I mean, just hearing the opening sent chills down my spine, and it still does. This game to me was a wake-up call for the gaming community. A game that was worked on for nearly 8 years, having a great team committed to the game, so much content to work with and grind towards, all for $40. A game that could have been easily pushed to us for 70 was given to us for 30 bucks less. But the one thing that shocked me the most were the optional microtransactions, which were only for one thing, super credits. There were no loot crates, no battle pass system, the inability to buy certain weapons and armor with real money, and actually needing to play the game and earn that shit. A completely unique system implemented to aid the players more than the company who made the game. I feel I can say for everyone that at launch, while it was not smooth, we have to give the devs credit for keeping up with the updates hour by hour, day by day, updating their server capacity, addressing main issues with each update and showing us what bugs they've heard about and were trying to fix with the next update and upcoming updates. It was clear this team cared about the game, not a care in the world whenever a new bug showed up because you knew that in a day or a few hours that the bug will be gone, almost ending the console wars by giving us uh, players from Xbox to help fight alongside us. But given recent events, I'm not sure this game will live long enough to warrant an Xbox release. For those who do not know, Sony the publishers of the title are now requiring all new Helldivers 2 players as of May 6th to link a PlayStation Network account in order to continue playing. And for those who have been playing since day one, we have until May 30th until we start seeing the mandatory login followed by a requirement to have the account made and linked by June 4th. However, this is a big no-no for myself and for many other players for many reasons, mostly personal reasons but this is where I believe Sony is shooting themselves in the foot. Some players are actually unable to make a Sony account where they are because of region locking of PlayStation networks. And even though the accounts are free, I'm gonna start off by saying, fuck you, Sony. I'm not gonna make an account for a game when your reason for making the devs do this to us is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Account linking plays a critical role in it protecting our players and upholding the values of safety and security provided on PlayStation and PlayStation Studio games. This is our main way to protect players from griefing and abuse by enabling the banning of players that engage in that type of behavior. It also allows those players that have been banned the right to appeal. A couple things here, Sony. How does adding a PlayStation Network account make me more safe and secure if I'm still going to be playing with PC and console players in the first place? The devs can literally add a report feature, and I'm not sure Sony knows, but if we are banned from a game or even VAC banned on Steam, we can appeal for it. But also, why would banning need to happen for griefing when you can just kick and block the players in the first place? Since when did every gamer become a vulnerable child on the internet in the eyes of these companies where we need to have gaming companies protect us instead of letting us use our resources to handle griefing or abuse? Because you can mute in the game, you can block in the game, you can kick from the game. And given the fact that literally a month into the game's release, everyone knows who Gantz the Demon is, I'm pretty sure the Helldivers community knows what to do with these kinds of players. The addition of forcing players to make a PlayStation Network account is sickening. Like, Sony looked as if they had turned a new leaf, realizing that all they needed to do was add effort into making their games, and with a lower price, more people are gonna buy the game. I mean, literally, Helldivers is the perfect example of this. It got so popular that the servers could not handle the amount of people getting on all at one time. And that hard work that Arrowhead put into making this game is going to get squashed because of greed that should not have been there in the first place. With the community split apart, forced apart, and with so many people saying that they will not link an account to the game, 
I have a hard time seeing how once these dates come that the game will continue. Unless Sony wisens up and figures out that this idea is stupid and will actually kill the game, I'm going to officially say that I will no longer play Helldivers if I am required to have an account that will otherwise get me banned for not having one. I have no issues with the company Arrowhead. The devs of the game, they are trying to help us out and fight back the best way they can while making sure that PS5 and PC players can still play together. They are a company that I hope continues to thrive and I hope to see later on that Sony retracts this egregious major order. Arrowhead, keep doing what you're doing. I love your game. Make sure justice is served. Run this way. I like how it's a countdown. That's it. I'm going the right way. Just follow the missile. As far as we can so we can see it. Uh, oh yeah, we're not going to be able to get over that mountain. Let's just watch right here, I guess. Is it that big of an explosion? Oh. Wait. Okay, that is a huge fucking explosion. Yeah, it's literally just a nuke. That is literally just an intercontinent <laughs> intercontinental ballistic missile. Yeah, we definitely destroyed some fucking aliens.